called Limp again. Oh, it's all up here, isn't it? Sorry, running there, my leg. I did sweat. No photos, by the way, security reasons. Social security reasons. Boy, all these traffic cones are a pain in the backside, aren't they? I was in the car earlier and uh, I saw a sign in the road that said, um, Delay is possible till November. I thought, shit, I've got to get there tonight. <laughs> I was sitting in the car on the way to work the other morning and uh, an advert came on all about the perils of drink driving and I was so shocked I uh, nearly dropped my hip flask <laughs> and I thought about it long and hard and thought yes I'm definitely going to cut down on my driving But these, uh, these talent shows, they remind me of when I worked on the circus. Um, I was only there for a few weeks while I was going to be. They kept me on for nine years because uh, I was the only one who could get the tent in the bag. <laughs> but one of the novelty freak show acts there was the fat tattooed lady, which shows how long ago that was because they're everywhere now. <laughs> I went past the tattoo shop the other day, there was a young girl there, about 18, 19, looking through the window. I said, you going in? She said, I'm thinking about having a robin tattooed on my right breast. <laughs> I said, you do realise when you're 70, that robin's going to end up looking like a strangled ostrich. <laughs> But the, uh, <laughs> but the fat tattooed lady, she was married to one of the clowns, and uh, she was pregnant. I said, oh, congratulations, would you want to buy her a girl? She said, couldn't care less, really, as long as it fits in that cannon. <laughs> But I, oh, I had to leave in the end. I got very upset because my best friend died. Aww. Oh no, it was terrible. He was the uh, he was the rubber man contortionist. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he had a heart attack while performing. But, as long as he died in his own arms. <laughs> but, uh, I was sitting at home the other day and my young girl come in, 11. What a stupid name for a kid. <laughs> I said, uh, what's the matter, 11? I said, Dad, there's a man at the door with a fat belly. I said, well, tell him I've got one. Because <laughs> I have put on a bit of weight. I, uh, yeah, I, uh, I thought anorexia and one. <laughs> I have put on some weight, I used to be eight pound three ounces. And, uh, I've been on a couple of diets. I've tried a couple. There was one Chinese diet. You can eat as much as you like, but you're only allowed one chopstick. <laughs> and that was rubbish, so I went on the I went on the vodka diet, which was better. You drink three bottles of vodka and you don't give a toss if you're fat or not. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the door and this bloke standing there. He said, I want to talk to you about the state of your carpets. I said, that's all I need. Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Halloween's coming up and apparently they don't celebrate that because it's Apparently there's nothing worse than strangers standing at your doorstep. <laughs> I rang into work the other day and said, um, can't come in, the car won't start. He said, what about the bus? I said, I haven't got a bus. <laughs> I can't get 
keep me out still. Well, I'm going to finish off with a bit of culture because it's not all about telling 30 year old jokes. <laughs> so I'm going to recite to you Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. And it takes some doing. I've just got to remember him. Got it. 87 Station Road, Gettysburg. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. See you later. And ladies and gentlemen, put your hands here for Gary Body. Can I tell you now to stand up here and read off Gary?